All right. Hi, everyone. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> what a freaking day. <laughs> I, this is, I'm just so happy. I want to thank God that I made it today. <laughs> it's just so hard. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. For those of you who are watching uh, the first official episode of I've Noticed. Um, and as you can see, the first I've noticed is there's only two of us. Um, but, uh, you know, we have rotating guests. Uh, I know, you know, I'm self-employed, but, you know, my friends, they they have lives. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, but Kista, she's out. She, she might be popping in. Uh, if not virtually, she will be popping in in the comments below, you know. So, um, but yeah, let's... Uh, we're going to talk about, <laughs> I've noticed things um, by, by uh, I'm single and uh, I'm dating and uh, are talking rather, you know, uh, and there's things that I've, I've noticed in the process. Um, Courtney as well, you know, we kind of share similarities. Uh, we got a, a little phrase, a slogan, uh, that ain't shit, <laughs> but, um, and then that's where Eric Kista comes in, you know, like, oh, they, there's some good guys out here, you know, but we'll get into that. That is, that's actually a question, which is, I kind of, I'm, I want to miss her. So hopefully, Kista, if you're watching this, hopefully comment below, because we're going to need you on, on, on a couple of topics, okay? But um, we'll get into the, um, I'll make sure you go like my business page, uh, order from my website, go to the uh, YouTube page. Um, I've officially did a, I've noticed podcast, um, uh, Facebook page, you know, once the uh, the numbers build up, we'll start recording from there, and then also as YouTube as well, and I'm also on Instagram, and you can also follow these ladies as well, um, I've tagged them. My Instagram is full court, C-O-R-T, if you want to follow me, and also, excuse my hair, we're, we're just going to give the girls texture tonight, <laughs> and I love it, I told, I told, she's, she's giving me, like, she's giving me, um, the camouflage is giving me honey, but her hair is giving me like Tina Turner, Shaka Khan. You know, Listen, I, I, bring it, I bring my weave out, I blow dried it, you know, and this is this is what we got. So we're just, we're giving texture tonight. Trust me, it'll get rectified soon enough. Oh, please. I love it. Look, what do you think these is? Like, this is, this is Caucasian and this is African-American. <laughs> I'm biracial tonight. My hair is biracial. Flat iron not flat on, you know, but, um, thank you, Whitney, uh, I, I'm actually upset about my hair, because, um, I was going for a look, you know, I like the cotton candy swirls, but, uh, I couldn't find my, uh, my, my chopsticks, I was trying to go for a little, hi y'all, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go for it, but it's just, all right, but let's get into this, okay, so, um, with social media and everything, I think social media is giving uh, guys a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence that you wouldn't normally see in them on a regular basis. Like if you sitting right in front of them, they wouldn't say or do the things that they do on this social media app. So um, social media has provided confidence for men and they have provided a limited access for men to us women you know um there's things that goes down in my inbox that I don't like you and me both <laughs> that I don't like and that I don't appreciate and I have vocally said hey like I, I feel like a, a teacher like hey don't do that you know like stop it don't you send me that you bad boy you know but and then there's some that I'd be like okay what else you got <laughs> Go down a little bit. <laughs> what else she got? You know, but um, but overall, I'm trying to be a lady, you know. Um, and I don't want to be like super rude and I don't want to block people, you know, and stuff. But it, it's come to the fact that where I'm gonna have to start blocking some of you guys, like all this unsolicited penis or cock or whatever, like <sighs> come on, y'all. <laughs> like, y'all why are y'all doing where is this coming from? 
Like you, you would not walk up to me in a uh, Walmart or IGA or yeah. wherever, a family dollar, my favorite Dollar Tree, and just voila. Like you wouldn't do that. So I should not have to wake up in the middle of the night thinking I'm going to get some orange juice or some apple juice. And then I'm seeing. But you want to know what my question is? I want to know who who are the women that this is working on for men to keep doing it? You know what I mean? For them to be like, I'll post a story and someone will send me back a dick pic. And I'm like, one, I didn't ask for this. And then two, it's like, who did this work on for you to think that it's going to work for me? You know right. what I mean? There's a reason. I, yeah, like, they feel like it's entire, like, it's got like, like, you're going to be like, hell yeah like no we're not guys we don't think women don't think like that like well, we're no more you for them to keep doing it there's know. one guy who was steady trying to get me to open a video chat so i can look at a dick <laughs> like steady trying to and it <laughs> and i'm just like who did this work on for you to be so so confident that once i look at your dick i'm gonna be like i'm about to hop on that you know what I mean? <laughs> Ain't nobody hopping on nothing. That's like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't know what's the, what's the, like, women that are currently watching. Have y'all received any unsolicited, meaning unasked for? You didn't ask for it. They just, you just woke up one day, or you was just thinking, you scroll on your timeline, you get a little ping, and the next thing you know, you open up and you got a, you got a Roger Wood, you got or uh, Oscar Maya, or sometimes a Vienna. Right. you know sausage there and you like who 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 asked for this like who told you and, and like Courtney said like what made you think I was going to be like okay like, and what what was your response because maybe I can get a few tips to make it stop because okay. so, <laughs> so this is my thing okay so mine started from it, it started casual I will say they they started casual with a hey and you know how we ignore them for a couple of days and then they do a hi. And you're ignoring them for another couple of days thinking they're going to get the hit. And they be like, what's up? They ignore them again. And then they do the WID, what you doing? And then you be like, okay, you know what? Fuck. And then usually those are on like days where you're like, it's Sunday, it's raining, Ugh, you know, McDonald's, the ice cream machine don't work. You know, so you be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, I'm sure they over there like, yeah. Finally, she's saying, hey, but you do a little casual, uh, hey, how you doing, whatever. And then they go with, oh, where you from? How, uh, I like you and what's up with you and da, da, da. And fast forward all that. You let them know you're not interested. You're not interested, but you're doing it in a nice, southern, sweet way. Then all of a sudden, they just kick it up a little bit. You know, they may kick it up with a, let me take you out. And I'm like, no, I'm good because I don't date locally, you know. And then it go from, well, let me buy you breakfast. Let me buy you lunch. And then it, next thing you go, eat this, bam. <laughs> like, it just, it just, it just, and so I'd be like, why you do that? And like, I honestly, I, I will honestly, that's one because I love the, the, the Facebook uh, voice thing because I'm not typing because I want them to hear the frustration, the anger, the disrespect in my voice. And I'm like, why do you do that? Why, why are you sending this? What makes it so bad is at least they'll do that conversation with you and then send it. I don't even get that. I just get I just get the fucking picture. Like I'm so serious. Like I'll open my inbox and <laughs> like I don't even get I don't have no type of conversation. Listen. All right, so at first it was like when you space it out, like you space out the uh I, I think I think dick pics come from whatever picture you post or or, or, or how are they feeling I, I, I'm thinking for me like when, when I get my dick pictures it's because they want to fuck me right then and right there like they, they ready like yo I got come come over here buddy, uh, come get me uh, whatever it's that or it's either oh you look good today and then they send the picture so I guess to try to get me aroused to how they already feel so it's one of two things. It's usually either um, um, they sexually they want to fuck me, sexually attracted to me, or either they want me to be sexually attracted to them. And so because I've been like 
you know, pressing on them like, nah, I'm good. So I guess they'd be like, oh, she must think I, she must be think I ain't working with nothing, you know? And then, bam. I still don't see the logic though. Like, but even that, like that, it's like there's no logic to that. I, to us, you know, because <laughs> to we, us. yeah, to us because we like conversation. Like, you know, we we discussed this before on an episode where we're like, you we're sucker for conversation. I'm a sucker for laughs. You know, um, you get me laughing, you feed me, <laughs> like. I'm good. You like you. I, I will develop an association with you, a friendship with you, and then wherever it goes from there, then that's just what it is. But guys don't do that. You know, they have to want to fuck you, like before they even want to talk to you. Like we will come, we will converse with a man, a man, even if we're not attracted to them. We will be cordial and say, "Hey, how are you? How was your day?" Oh, I, and we'll find something nice. I like that hat cute glasses you know nice little shirt polo okay like that men nah if they don't want to fuck you they don't want to talk to you that's not necessarily true because i do know a guy or two that literally flirt with everybody just because they can they might not be attracted (laughs) to them but they'll do it just because they can like it's like it's almost like a game like oh i made her blush i made her giggle like That is so that's not necessarily true, but I, I see what you're saying because you know, yeah, because guys are guys, but yeah, I, I just, I mean, so what are you, so are you just ignoring it or are you actually replying and say, hey, why, why are you, what's, what's, why, why are you doing this? Uh, let's see, okay, let me go through some of my responses. I've ignored, of course, and then I've also like been like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be like, why, why did you do that? And then I know one guy, he sent me like three dick pics in a row, right? <laughs> it was after I posted a picture on my story. You know, I'll be trying to post right. it or whatever. And so it was right after my story. He sent me a dick pic. I looked at it. I closed it out, right? After I did my initial, like, ah! <laughs> I closed it out, right? And then like a few minutes later, he sent me another one from a different angle. Okay. And I ignored that one. And then he sent me another one. And was, I, oh, pop, pop. was it? hard or was it hard candy or soft candy was it it was hard candy it was hard candy and to be honest if I'm being honest it was it was it was decent right okay okay. but I was still like I don't know you we've never talked before I I didn't even know you existed until you sent me this picture like (laughs) you know I was just I just wasn't with it and so after the third pick I still (laughs) didn't look but he sent me something he sent me a message right Mm -hmm. And when I finally opened it, because I didn't, I didn't, you know, I knew it was a dick pic. I thought he was just saying, like, look at this or something like that, you know? And so I didn't open it. But when I went to go back and open it, he blocked me. <laughs> that motherfucker. Okay, was this a real person? Or like, this, this is a-, a real person. This was a real person. Because, you know, after the first one, of course, I went on his page. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? Why would he block you? Because I didn't respond. And so, like, you know how, like, when you block somebody, like, he unsent everything, and then he blocked me. So, I guess maybe he thought I was going to, like, show someone. Uh, like, did his name start with an A? I don't remember his name at all. Okay, okay. Well, 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 yeah, because that's, but, that's kind of, like, the traits of this guy that was, like, doing that to everybody on uh, Facebook or whatever. But did he have dreads? No, he didn't have dreads. Oh, okay well then maybe it wasn't that guy but i was just like why you block me because i i didn't want your dick pic you know what i mean <laughs> yeah now, see, I... Now, now that's the conversation like, that's when you take trying to take offense to it you be like i didn't even do anything to you like you'd be crazy right. but i um when i when i did do the uh why are you sending me this um they kind of he took the one guy he took offense so he was like i can do what i want to do um, this is my dick. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, somebody's it's like, this is my dick. Uh, I can do what I want to do. I'm like, come on, like, don't don't do that. And so he was like, um, uh, what he said, what he I, I honestly I don't like if you're gonna do it like go all the way in. Like I hate when guys send soft penises. I, I hate, I hate that. Like at least give me some shit where I can be like, oh, I remember you, you know, not no remembering you in like a bad way, kind of sort of, you know, I want to remember you like. I'm trying to think, I don't think I've ever gotten a soft dick pic. Oh, I have. I'm lying. This white boy, I'm lying. I'm lying. 
I have. Of course, you know it was off. It was a white dude off a of freaking Tinder. He sent me a soft dick pic. But I, no, it wasn't. Wasn't the nap bait guy? <laughs> no, he blocked me too. <laughs> No, the nap date guy blocked me too because I blew him off. <laughs> he was trying to like meet up with me right then and there and like I couldn't, like I was with my mom and so I was just like, I don't know how to take this woman's car out <laughs> and her not be upset that I'm gone for a couple of hours. So not at that exact moment because we were celebrating something. And mm -hmm. so it just didn't work out, but he blocked me because we had moved to Snapchat and then after that day, uh, after I was like, well, I can't, I looked at it the next day, try to respond something. Okay. So basically we're going to wrap this up with, um, guys, if you wouldn't do it in person, don't do it virtually. Stop sending us women dick pictures that we don't ask for. I mean, trust me, we're grown. Like we will ask for them. I know I do. When I, when I want them, I'll ask for them you know i want to add another thing mm -hmm. guys stop calling people on facebook messenger you don't freaking know <laughs> oh i don't have that i don't have that. that matter of fact there's a guy currently who keeps calling me on facebook messenger i want i shouldn't say his name i'm not going to no 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 don't. me on facebook messenger i don't know this man I've never met him a day in my life matter of fact i think i was telling you about this the other day but he yeah, keeps yeah. calling me well, you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to promote him to blockage. I am. I'm about to I'm gonna block him soon if he calls me again because I'm just like <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me why you are why you are so bold to do that. <laughs> I, I think it's the social media. Like social media is giving guys like a lot of confidence that they wouldn't normally have in person, you know. Um, and then also it's like I said, it's giving them a lot of access. Like there's no way they would be in like a room or work unless probably they're at work but then if you're at work a lot of people usually work like manufacturing jobs so they can't really like see women per se you know like how beautiful they are or how good looking they are so the social media is like heaven for them it's like a, I guess it's like a tinder app facebook is like a tinder app for them they like you know like I told you, it's the hood spot. Like, once they open it up to everybody, like, now everybody's in here. There ain't no more, hey, how you doing? I said, haven't seen you since high school, college. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you got two kids. No, it's like, oh, my God, you want this dick? Like, no, I don't want the dick. Like, who <laughs> fuck? Nigga, please. Like, get out of here. All right, so let's move on to question number two. Um, OK, 